And I just added this province um, before I came. Um, probably you can take time to write it down, and if you wish, uh, the province statement is pretty straightforward. Basically, that is a um, composite shaft. The upper is made of steel, the lower is made of brass. This is copper like material. And here we are given the dimensions. The diameter for steel is 1.5 uh, diameter uh, inches. And for allowable <coughs> uh, stress for steel is 15 psi. And in the similar portion for shaft uh, BC, the diameter is 1.8 inches, the allowable is 8 psi. Okay, and then for this one, we have <coughs> the allowable uh, information, so we have geometry. And we want to determine the maximum heat. The torque heat can be applied such that all the stresses uh, within the two uh, portion will satisfy the, the information here. So for this example, is to exercise the concept of the allowable stress, which means to exercise the similar problems on our task. And I found that still a few of you are still kind of confused. Uh, you have two values. One is a larger one, one is a smaller one. You don't know which one should be picked, right? And uh, among those people, you basically you, ex ex you display two numbers, and one number is a correct answer, but you choose the other one. Okay, so here I decided to use these one more examples and for demonstrate these things. Okay, the concept is this. Um, we are given the allowable stress. So here that the problem statement, let me turn on this one. The allowable stress is such that the maximum, whatever the maximum stress in this structure must be less than or equal to this number. That is the basic concept. Okay, so for whatever the design, we have to guarantee the maximum stress should be less than this value. <coughs> and now for our shaft, the maximum stress, let me pick up the formula is Tc over J. That is our formula for chapter three for this shaft and simplify Tc, J, and for the two are the solid, so it's pi over two to the C to the fourth, and that one is less than or equal to allowable. So to simplify in this way, we learn the torque must be, here you can see uh, this Basically, is T pi over 2 C to the 3 less than or equal to T allowable. So that means I scale, I multiply the denominators on the both hand side. So that means here you can see the T must be less than or equal to T allowable stress and multiply with pi over 2 C to the 3. That is the the way we pick, we know that the T must be less than or equal to a certain number. So I would recommend here is for this kind of allowable concept, you're always using this kind of the inequality sign instead of the equal sign, because that will clearly give you the range, give you the sense of the feeling of which range you should go forward. Okay. And now in this way, this is our design criteria for both one, for both shafts. So we simply plug in into our numbers. And here, let me go on back to the slide. So for the shaft AB, we have the radius is 0.75. <coughs> we simply plug in the C equal to 0.75, okay, for shaft, for shaft AB. Plug into that calculation, T is less than or equal to 9.94. Okay, simply I implement this <coughs> equation for shaft AB. I plug in C, C equal to 0 0.75. For shaft uh, BC, the lower portion, the, sh the radius is 0 0.9 inch. The radius is 0 0.9 inch. So again, we plug in the 0 0.9 inch to here, then we calculate allowable stress, corresponding to the allowable stress is uh, 8 psi. So here we found that T is less than or equal to 9.16. 
T is less than this and less than this. So which one we should choose? This one, right? Because T, the torque must be less than uh, equal to the two numbers. So if we pick this one, then I will automatically satisfy this one. So the answer for this question is 9.16. That is a maximum I can achieve. Okay. If, for some reasons, if the torque you applied a little bit over, for example, 9.2, if your torque is, say, uh, you apply the torque in 9.2 on the top there, so which portion, the, the whole structure is going to fail uh, under the risk of a fail. And if that structure is going to fail, which portion is going to fail first? Only two options, A, B, or B, C. <laughs> you think about this, uh, think about this and this. If now the torque is 9.2, and which portion is going to be failed? B, C. Because 9.2 is greater than this one, so that's going to violate, going to violate this one. But the 9.2 won't violate this one. So A, B is still safe. BC was the yes. Yeah, uh, they both say for shaft. Yeah. Oh, that should be BC, sorry. Yes, yeah, that should be BC. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. Um, and uh, I have one more exercise for. Uh, Angle. This one will draw on the board. So this shaft, uh, one end is fixed, and the length is 360 <coughs> millimeters here. Um, so at A, we have a 30 newton meter torque applied. And at B here, we have torque is uh, 40. Okay, the length is in millimeters and then the torque is in newton meters. So for this case, we want to calculate uh, the angle of the twist. And so again, um, the angle of the twist is V equal to TL over GJ. <coughs> and for this case, the G will equal to 27 GPA. And um, this diameter equal to 0 0.025 meter, and this one, the diameter equal to um, 
So this is solid. And for this portion, that is hollow. For the hollow, is the uh, outer diameter is 0 0.025. And the inner diameter is 0 0.02. So we have a geometry, we have dimensions, everything in 3D. So the first one, again, we um, go for the analysis of directions. So here, for the sign conventions of the torque. So do this. Um, <coughs> Are you able to do this on your own? Probably I can do this one more time. So say we pick a cross section here. So on, on that cross section, here is 30. So in balance, this must be in 30. So here, everywhere inside here is 30. Can we try it first? Yes. OK, you try it first. Yeah. I wait for you. Yeah. OK, probably give me <laughs> uh, three, three minutes. Okay. And to draw the curve, and then uh, benchmark. I will benchmark for you. <laughs> <laughs> 